Father, we declare that all glory belongs to you. We thank you that you are a God of glory and that you rest in glory. And, Lord, that you move with your glory and your glory rest upon us. We worship you this morning and we thank you for the glory of God that is revealed in us, the glory of God manifested in with your creation. We give you glory and praise and honor. We extol thee, Lord. We lift you up. We exalt thee. God, we worship thee with the lips, the fruit of our lips. We praise your name, for thou art worthy to be praised. Thou art worthy. All glory belongs to you. Hallelujah. And so, Lord, we thank you that we come into a place of worship in a time, in a pressing, Lord, in a designated moment to lift up your name and to give you glory and honor. We come to worship. We intentionally, Lord, set this day to bless your name, to bless your name with our lips, to bless your name with our heart, to bless your name, God, with our thoughts, to bless your name with our conversation. We intentionally will purposely worship you. We will come out of our comfort zone, and, Lord, we will leave those familiar things, and we will be in a vulnerable place, a trans- transparent place of worship, of worship, a transparent place where you see our heart and you know our motive. Our motive is to give you praise and glory and honor. Our motive, our intention, our delight is to worship you. We come with passion. We come with intention, Lord, to worship you. You are worthy to be praised. You are worthy to be magnified. You are worthy. Hallelujah. Thank you for all that you do in us. Thank you for all that you do through us. And we come to say thank you. Our soul is filled with gratitude. Our soul is filled with gratitude. We worship you, Lord, for all that you are. We worship you for who you are. You are God. You are sovereign. You are the Lord Almighty. You are the all-sufficient one. You are Jehovah. You are El Elohim. You are Adonai. We worship you. You're the God of our provision. You're the God of our strength. You're the God of our sanctification. You're the God of all wisdom. You're the God of all knowledge. You're the God of all purpose. And we worship you. Hallelujah. With our mouth we worship. With our heart we come to bless your holy name. We thank you that you are the God that sits high and looks low. We thank you that you rule and super rule. We thank you, Lord, that your word is the final word concerning life and our purpose and our situation. We worship you because because you are God. You are holy. Hallelujah. You are Jehovah. You are Yahweh. You are our God. And we thank you. We bless you from the rising of the sun until the going down of the same. The name of the Lord is to be praised. So we praise your name. We praise your name, Redeemer. We praise your name, Counselor. We praise your name, Burden Bearer, Yoke Destroyer. We praise your name. Thou art our God and we bless you. We bless you with our whole heart. We bless you with our mind. We bless you with our strength, with all of our soul, with all of our heart, with all of our mind, with all of our strength. We bow down for thou art holy. Thou art wonderful. Thou art righteous. Thou art mighty. Thou art our God. We bless you, O Lord. You are holy and for who you are, for who you are, we give you glory. For who you are, we give you glory. In the midst of our go-through, in the midst of our circumstance, in the midst of our lack, in the midst of our brokenness, we bless you. At all times, we bless you. For all things, we bless you. In every season, we bless you. In the winter of our lives, we bless you. In the spring of our lives, we give you glory. Hallelujah. In the summer of our lives, we extol thee. And in the fall of our lives, we give you praise. Thou art worthy, O God to receive praise. Thou art worthy to receive glory. Thou art worthy to receive honor. And we extol you. We we say yes, Lord. We say yes to your will and yes to your way. We praise you for who you are. We praise you for what you've 
done, for the things that you've done in our past, for the victories that you have wrought, for the places that you've brought us to, for the things you've brought us through. We worship you, not just for who you are, but for what you've done. You've done mighty things. You've done great things. You've done awesome things. Hallelujah. Our mind surveys the victories that you have won, the triumphs, God, that you have achieved in our life. Thank you, Lord, for delivering us. Thank you for freeing us. Thank you for saving us. Thank you for keeping us. Thank you for washing us. Thank you for honoring us with your name and your presence. For the things that you've done, we give you glory. For the things you've done, for the ways you've made, for the doors you've opened, for the doors you've closed. Hallelujah. For the seasons you've brought and the seasons you've brought us through, we bless your name for what you've done. For, Lord, this morning... Our mind goes back to the things you've done. We reminisce on victories you've given us. We reminisce on healings you've provided, on ways that you have made, on things that you have done, things too wonderful for us, things we could not do. Hallelujah. God, you stepped in. We thank you for your divine intervention. We thank you for your divine purpose. We thank you for your divine blessing. We thank you for your ways. We we come to say thank you. Hallelujah. We join with the chorus of angels. We come to worship, Lord. And so we ask that you wash our hearts and clean our hands. For, Lord, here we stand to worship. Hallelujah. Wash our hearts, God. Wash our hearts. Hey, God, everything that's not in, everything in us that's not of you, wash our hearts, our black hearts, our, our pitiful hearts, our doubtful hearts our negative hearts. Oh, God, our crippled hearts from fear. God, wash our hearts that we might stand in your presence and worship you, that we might reflect on the things you have done. Ah, that gives us great faith for what you will do. Thank you, Lord, that you have healed us, so you will heal us today. We thank you that your word is declared, that Jesus Christ the same yesterday, today, and forever. So whatever you did yesterday, whatever you were yesterday, you will be, Lord, today, and you will do today. So yesterday you were a provider. Yesterday you were a healer. Yesterday you were a way maker. Yesterday you were a mind regulator. Yesterday you were a heart fixer. Today, God, you will fix our heart. Today you will regulate our mind. Today you will provide our daily bread. Thank you, Lord. Thank you for your provision. Thank you for your daily bread. Thank you for daily peace. Thank Thank you for daily grace. Thank you for daily power. Thank you for daily love. Thank you for daily, God, daily providing us with benefits. Whatever you were yesterday, you will be today. Your word declares Jesus Christ the same yesterday, today, and forever. So, Lord, you were a way maker yesterday. You will be a way maker today. So, in confidence, we walk, Lord, in this day. You've given us this day because you gave us yesterday. And you've given us a model for what you will do today. The same thing you did yesterday. You gave us strength to get through, strength to get up, strength to go on strength, God, to overcome, strength to be victorious, and you will do it today. So we bless your name. We lift our heads, we square our shoulders, we lift our hands, and we open our mouth to praise you. Oh, God, make your people comfortable praising you, blessing you, honoring you, lifting you up, magnifying you, making you bigger than our circumstance, bigger than our problems, bigger than our issues issues greater than our struggles. Hallelujah. Thank you that you fill all gaps, that everything that's missing, Lord, you supply. You are our supply. Your grace is sufficient for us, and we worship you. Your grace is sufficient for us, and we worship you. Come on, beloved, worship him for the grace of God, the unmerited favor of God, that which we do not deserve. He continues to extend 
that which we do not have. He continues to supply. He is the God of all supply. So our faith looks to you. We worship you, O God. We bless you in the name of Jesus, and we thank you. We thank you for this moment. We thank you for this time. We thank you and we honor you in the name of Jesus. And we say amen and amen. Well, good morning to you. We bless the Lord for you and we thank God for this opportunity that we continue to come and to press in his presence. We thank you that on this 10th day of this particular consecration, we continue to worship the Lord for all that he is in us. I pray that your time with God is a time of deep consecration, a time of meditation. We shared last night that that word meditate means to chew on, to chew on as the, as the cow chews on its cud and it continues to swallow it and regurgitate back in its mouth and continues to chew. This is the, what God wants us to do. He wants us to chew, to meditate. Let the words of my mouth and the chewing on, the meditation of my heart, the things my heart chews on, what it focuses on because wherever your heart is focused that's the direction that your lips are going those are where the doors of your lips are open to to speak with the focus of your heart may the focus of your heart today really be on blessing the lord on this day our faith focus is, comes from psalm 34 1 through 4 and david declares that i will bless the lord at all times his praise shall continually be in my mouth. Are you a praiser? Are you a blesser? You see, this gets really back to this whole issue of how we focus our conversation and our language, and not only just blessing people, but also blessing God. He says, I will. He makes the determination. Notice that our soul is comprised of not only our will, our emotions, and our intellect. So David says that I will. The portion, the portion of my soul is the will. The will is the determiner of choice. Your will is is the determiner of choice. So you determine how your day will go. You determine what your attitude will be. You determine how you will respond to the daily challenges. It is not your workplace. It's not your children. It's not your spouse. It's not your environment. It's not your community. It's you. So in the same way David said, I will bless the Lord, you, may, you must make a declaration of I will this morning. What is your I will declaration? I will bless the Lord. I will have a great day. I will walk victoriously. I will bless those that curse me. I will, I will stand up for right. I will be a, pl I will be a model of integrity. You, you've got to determine what your I will. David says, I will bless the Lord at all times, and his praises shall continually be in my mouth. Why? Because my soul is going to make her boast in the Lord. And again, this word soul, he plays with this because really the seat of all of David's worship is found within his soul. It is the seat of our, it's the seat of our emotions. So it's his emotions that will make her boast in the Lord. It is his will and it is his intellect. And so with his mind, his emotions, and his will, his determiner of choice, he says, I'm going to focus all all of this on blessing the Lord at all times. Now you realize contextually that David is praising the Lord for delivering him from Abimelech. The Bible says that um, probably around 1 Samuel 21 that he changed his behavior before them and he, and he feigned himself and he began to write, you know, kind of scrabble on the walls and, and on the floor and, and he had spittle in his beard because he made them think he was crazy. And they were like, why would you bring a crazy man in front of me? Get him out of here. Notice that David uses this 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 issue, this unconventional presentation as a way, a strategy for deliverance. Will you use praise? Hallelujah. Will you use worship? Thank you, Jesus. Will you use that as a strategy for deliverance today? And let them, and, and I'm not suggesting that anyone goes to work and uh, scrabbles on the walls. Uh, I'm not suggesting that you act out of character. I am suggesting, though, that your soul is in praise mode. 
mode, that your mind is in praise mode, that your will is in praise mode, so that it is a strategy that will defeat the satanic attacks that comes against us. If we use praise and worship as our weapon, then it is a strategy to beat back the enemy. He says, I sought the Lord. I'm sorry, verse 3 says, oh, magnify the Lord with me and let us exalt his name together. And then I can't get wait, wait to get to verse 4. He says, I sought the Lord and he heard me and delivered me from all my fears. I want you to know that this psalm was written not at the time that David escaped, but it, it was written in a quiet season of David's life when he began to reflect on what God was doing. So why don't you take today and reflect on the things that God has brought you through. Reflect on the provisions that God has made. And whatever your situation this morning may be, trust me, if you begin to think, then you will thank. If you T-H-I-N-K, you will T-H-A-N-K. I believe there's a praise in your mouth. I believe there's a worship in your spirit, and I believe that if you are focused today and intentional about praising God, God will receive glory, and you will see the hand and the face of God in your life today. Take on your day and determine that I will. Make your I will declaration. I will get through this day. I will not be sick, but I shall be well. I will not be worried, but I shall be full of faith. I will not be negative, but I will be positive. Come on. Make an I will declaration. I will bless the Lord at all times. I know I'm fired up this morning, but it's just because this word jumps in my spirit. And if we can't bless him here all times, then we can't really do it in heaven. So this is your practice day. This is rehearsal. Practice praising God in everything, believing him for all things, trusting him through everything, and extolling him. We'll see you tomorrow as we continue to bring kingdom to community.